Thanks for listening to Use Party Rentals. Uh, we just wanted to do a quick tutorial of a video on how to use our hot dog machine. Um, it will come with a set of instructions, but we just figured uh, doing a video would help with you uh, using the machine whenever you do book with us. So let's get right into it. Okay, so some of the features that it has um, is the on-off switch. Um, here, this dial, it controls the temperature here we have the drain hose, and then on the side we have the plug. It is pretty long, but you know you may need an extension cord depending on your setup. Um, on the inside, if you take the lid off, just make note that although it looks like it would sit here, um, it's not very secure in the sense of uh, it being able to stay open. Um, so I suggest just laying it here on the side. That's why we provide a table. That way it's just easier to um, maneuver your... Uh, your machine. So on the inside we do have a plate and we'll go over further in detail uh, a little bit further into the uh, video but it is a disc that regulates the steam, how much steam is provided into the machine. All right. So okay so we're going to start off by putting a gallon and a half of purified water um, or if you like to go by liters it's six liters. So we already have ours filled up. So there are two portions. It is one compartment on the bottom. Um, I suggest putting it in the smaller portion where the sausages go, uh, just because uh, I think it's easier. And the buns are gonna be on the right-hand side, so we don't want our bread to be soggy or wet, so I think it's just easy to go this route. So you could just pour, as so. And then the water you do, it's, it can be hard to see because there's really no like flap to open to look on the inside. But if you plan on having it on for a long period of time, you just want to make sure that you're um, keeping an eye out on it not drying out because that can burn the coil and have the machine not work anymore. So you just want to be cautious of that. So that's about right. So then on this right hand side is where we have the steam regulator like I mentioned earlier and see right now they're all open and you can just turn here. So you want to just leave it cracked open so that whenever we do turn it on um, we are making sure that that steam is coming through. Okay. okay. So keep in mind I have not plugged in the hot dog machine in yet uh, just because we want to make sure everything is good to go, set up. Um, before we plug it in because we don't want to risk damaging the coils uh, due to overheating. So on um, this smaller portion is where your uh, sausage is going to go. It can hold up to 100 standard sausage. So if you look uh, on the rack, you don't want to place your weenies this way because it could fall through. So you'll just lay them side by side. So I'm just going to put a few in here just to give you uh, an idea of what we're looking at. So it does, you could do two rows, and you don't have to spread them apart, you can, but I mean, it, it holds up to 100 at one time, so it's totally fine to cram those guys in there. And then on this other portion is where we would put our bread. So our bread, these you do lay the opposite way. Um, you don't want to put it too close to, I mean, there is a rack, so it's not going to lean up on the window, but you know, you just do want to just give it a little space here for, uh, to allow that steam to go through. So we're going to do just a few, and this one also, you can do two rows, uh, so, okay. So once your, um, your buns and your weenies are inside, you can go ahead and place the lid on. Okay, so now that we've got the lid on, everything's inside, ready to go, now we're going to plug it in. So all this time it was not plugged in because we, again, did not want to take a risk in damaging the machine. So it is plugged in, you will turn on the power button, you will see that a light turns on, and then the temperature setting we will turn all the way up 
as high as it goes. You will leave it on the setting until you start to see steam on the glass. Okay, so we've had it on high setting for uh, about 25, 30 minutes. So you can obviously see the steam. You can, and there's glass on both sides, so you can see both uh, angles. And even if you open it here, you will see that beautiful steam. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but you could definitely see it on the lid. Um, here. So the temperature gauge you will turn down to between 120 and 130. Okay. And you'll hear it. I mean, you can hear the temperature change whenever you change the dial. It's not, it doesn't sound like it's boiling or on high steam anymore. So here, uh, once it's on the setting, you want to leave it at this uh, temperature for about 15 minutes, maybe possibly even uh, longer, just depending. Um, and so once you start eating. So you could just keep it at this temperature for the remainder of the time of your event. Uh, just how, as I mentioned earlier, you want to keep an eye on the water because if it gets too low, it can burn the coils and it'll dry out and it won't be any good anymore. So um, that, that's really all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoy and you have a